guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're back over on our YouTube account and we're gonna be looking at a couple things that we have around Rimuru, but before we get into that, there is a new code that is right there. There's a code for 20 scrolls. I'll go ahead and put that down below. Make sure you grab it because anytime you have the opportunity to have the common scrolls, you do have an opportunity to pull those Awakened Heroes. Now looking at the June 5th hotfix. Now as you can see, this was 41 minutes ago and I'm gonna show you kind of what is going on with Rimuru. Fixed an issue where in extreme circumstances, the skill equal naming failed to take effect on allied summon entities. So not only are we not seeing it on summon entities, there is a lot that is going on with the hero itself that really isn't working. Now we, we're gonna look at a little thing that was kind of shared over on um, the crowdsourcing discord for AFK Arena. And overall, looking at Rimuru and when we did our testing for him, doesn't do very much damage at all, which I don't think was intentional. I feel like with the ultimate ability, the way that he's built, it doesn't seem to be working incredibly well. And I wanna kind of talk through some of his skills is what essentially is happening is this magical elements, he is capping the magical elements and then it is not going anywhere from that. So let's hop over and I wanna take a look at it and show you kind of exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to Discord and when it comes to what we're seeing. So let's hop over and we'll take a look at it. And here it is. So this is from Poppington. And again, this was shared over on Discord. The way the wording is yes, he will spend it. When he names everyone at the start of battle, he will never do it again. Now that is something that again, is kind of broken unless you have summons, which we know in extreme, extreme circumstances from the hotfix, this wasn't even happening to name heroes again for the summons, which means he quickly caps his magic at 600 and never uses it again. Now that is something that we are seeing is that when his magic is capped, it doesn't go down. That makes that little tiny bar um, that he ults with very, very small. That's why he's ulting so fast is because this magic, this magic is capped at 600. So you only need 400 energy to ult making most of the kit, almost half the kit useless and causes other skill issues with alt unlocking. So what we think it should spend the points on, um, like um, Chuna does, all the text is stuff that is not working correctly or is utterly useless because he spams his alt. Yellow is the stuff that doesn't work correctly or is utterly useless because he's not spending his magic. So again, it, it fundamentally, the hero needs to be adjusted. And I kind of want to go through this and, and I know it's kind of hard to see in the picture, but I want to hop over and show you kind of what we're talking about. So hopping over back over to AFK Arena and I'm going to bring this up so we can actually see it. And I, I want to just kind of bring it to the side. That way I can kind of run through what we're seeing in this picture itself and kind of the explanation of what we're seeing. So looking at here, he possesses magical elements. Every one magical element reduces the energy required for the ultimate by one. Now, this is the reason when he's capping the 600 magic, essentially he's not getting any more. He, he's capping the magical elements. And of course the energy is only the other 400, um, 400 points of the bar, which again is making him alt that fast. So when he possesses 500 magical points, his normal attacks inflict black flame on a hit target for six seconds. Now the black flame does damage over time and enemy reflected, um, inflicted with black flame receives 65% more damage from Rimuru's allies who have received a name. Again, he's naming allies and it's not doing anything short of that. So it seems like this should be a really, really big damage boost, but that's we're not seeing at all. And then of course, looking down here at the bottom, the skill has a chance to crit, a crit chance, a crit strike chance increased by 10% for every 100 of magic element points that Rimuru has. Now, of course, Rimuru right there, he's sitting and always staying at the 600 magical element points, which means it should be a 60% increase to critical strike damage. But again, it seems like it's a little bit lower on where the hero should be working. Now, of course, the magical or the, the normal attacks turn into black flame, which is this ability. And th this again is, is kind of the reason why he's ulting so fast. For every magical, uh, for every enemy slain, he recovers 100 magical points. And of course, again, we, we talked about this before, there are some game modes where he doesn't kill anyone. <laughs> so, so essentially it's not gonna do anything if he's not killing anyone. Um, and again, for every enemy slain, he covers recovers 100 magical points if 
he's not already at the cap. He is staying at the cap. So, so this, again, it, it doesn't make a difference when it comes to the magical element points. It doesn't make a difference right here for every enemy slain. He recovers 200 magical element points, which again, the magical element points don't matter because he's staying at the cap of the 600 points the whole entire time. It, it's interesting. They're, they're going to have to go ahead and change this. And then, of course, this is at the start of battle when he gets a little bit of a buff. Now, tenacity, of course, is going to be the crowd control, magic suppression in the dodge. This is very indicative to kind of the characteristics of a um, of an agility hero, of a survival hero. This really doesn't make a big difference when you look at big picture how the hero is doing damage-wise. A lot of the great sage ability, because again, you're looking at getting more tenacity so the crowd control is not going to work, magical suppression points, which of course could result in a little bit more damage. Dodge, again, not going to make a big difference. Then it goes to the entire team. So when you think of big picture, how much this is adding, not super effective. And then you get into the signature item. And that's the other part is when you look at the signature item, each time Rimuru absorbs 60 magical points, he recovers 10% of his own health. Again, he's not absorbing the points because he's already at the cap. And then even here, any enemy afflicted by Black Flame loses 50 energy, 100 energy, and then of course 30 um, points right there. Received healing of an enemy inflicted by Black Flame is reduced by 30 points. So there's a little bit of an energy reduction and it shows overall, again, we're not seeing the effectiveness of this because essentially he is not working properly. And again, I, I don't know the research, I don't know everything behind it, but I know when we were battle testing Rimuru, when we were using him in a couple different places, a lot of players were hoping that he would work incredibly well, which unfortunately it seems as of right now, it's not the case. And even looking at the naming, I was kind of thinking of this because again, summoned entities being named in the battlefield. So if more summoned ent entities are coming on the battlefield, we are spending these points, the 100 or 50 magical points are spent respectively. And again, when we're starting the battle, all of these heroes are being named and they're never being named again. So these points are never going away. So again, a lot of the kit is really kind of useless with him right now, unless they hotfix it, unless they do something else. And again, you could kind of game this a little bit, thinking of a hero that does consistent summon. So thinking of like a Grez, this could actually work pretty well because he is spending the magical points every time Grez pulls up a skeleton, but you only have that hero because if you think of like Mishka, once they're named, the wolves are done. Even looking at the Awakened version of Baden, there's only one single ad, so once that is done, it would be really interesting to see. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I want to try it. I want to hop in here and see what it's going to kind of look like in the case where we can get the magical points used, where we can get the magical points actually down a little bit. And I'm wondering if that's going to make a difference. Because again, this is what we're hearing from a lot of different sources is when you look at a hero, you know, that a lot of players were super stoked about the release and then he drops and ultimately... We're not seeing really any effect for him at all. It, it kind of stinks to see that I don't feel like a lot of players are going to build him and I don't know how much utility he's going to have. So let's go and I'm going to go to, let's do 460. And what I'm hoping is to get some heroes in there and actually have the enemy team survive um, with running Rimuru. So let me clear this out and I'm hoping summon entities. So let's go in here and let's start with We'll do Baden and Grez because both of them we know do have the summoned entities. Um, we could put like a Mishka in here again, summoned entities. We could put the awakened version of Solus in here again with the sprites, summoned entities, and see kind of what we get out of here and if it really does make a difference. So there we go. So summon entity is up. Now he's going to continue naming. Now the blue bar right here is again the energy, and of course we burn through it. We'll, we'll up the level a little bit and see if we can get this the 106 to actually kind of work a little bit. But again, I don't know how big of or how much of a difference it's going to make, but he's going to have the ability to utilize some of those magic points because of all the summons we have in the formation. And I'm hoping that's going to be the case because there's a summon right there. Mishka again already has the wolves up. 
And you can see, look at the 600 points down here on Rimuru's bar, which means, again, only 400 in the alts. That's the reason why he is ulting so fast. And again, it doesn't seem like he's using any of these points. Yeah, he, he's not. He's not using any of those points, which, of course, look at this, guys. I mean, 400 million, 155, 149. His damage isn't here. It, it really, and I don't know, maybe that was completely intentional. And a lot of players are just kind of overlooking it. But wait to build the heroes, guys, if you bought them. Of course, I, I build them all out. But I, I want to see what they're going to do. I want to see what they're going to kind of hotfix with him. Because again, as much as I love him, and I, I do want to build him out, love loving the anime, um, we have to make sure that he's working, and we have to make sure that he's kind of working properly. And of, co of course, Ashuna is working very well, and a lot of players super impressed with, with her. But Rimuru, again, a little bit of a disappointment as it is right now. Don't know if the hot fix is going to change any of it, but that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and as always, thank you guys for watching.